Hey everyone, Nick Dearbird is here teaching you financial modeling. So today I'm going to be giving you an introduction on internal randomness in Excel as part of our lecture series on probabilistic modeling. So last time we had already done an introduction to internal randomness and now we're coming to implementing that in Excel. So in Excel, we have two main functions which generate randomness for us. That is the rand and the rand between functions. So rand will generate a number between zero and one, anywhere in that range, a continuous number, while rand between will give you a random integer between two integers that you pass to it. So both of these are drawing from a uniform distribution, which just means that each number in the range is equally likely. Um, then if we want to draw from any other distribution, as we often will want to draw from normal distributions in our models, uh, we need to uh, combine a couple different functions to make that happen in Excel. The tools for randomness in Excel generally are a little bit primitive. We kind of had to do some manual work to uh, be able to get continuous numbers in some range, draw from normal distributions, work with discrete random variables, etc. Um, and so we'll learn some patterns that you can apply to make that happen. In Python, it tends to be more straightforward. There are just functions directly made for each kind of randomness that we would want to do. So in order to draw a number from a normal distribution in Excel, we can combine two different functions. So we're going to bring in this norm.inv, which is normal distribution inverse function, which gives us the value on a normal distribution corresponding to a certain probability. Um, and you have to give it the mean and the standard deviation of the distribution as well. And this is not a random function. If you say, um, give me uh, the 50th percentile of the normal distribution with mean 10 and standard deviation three, it's gonna give you 10 every single time, no randomness. You give it 0.6, it's going to give you a number higher than 10, and it's going to give you that same number every time. So we need to combine it with a source of randomness to be able to draw random numbers from the normal distribution in Excel. So we can use the, the normal inverse function along with the rand function to make that happen. So in this spot in the normal inverse function where we would be passing that probability we're going to put the rand function there because a probability has to be between zero and one and the rand function generates a random number between zero and one. So basically it's giving us a random probability. And so then we can just put that in uh, to the normal inverse function. And now we have created this uh, composite function which is able to generate random numbers from a normal distribution with whatever mean and standard deviation that you specify. So let's look at a quick example of how we can implement this in Excel. Um, so here we've got a new Excel workbook. And this completed example is on the course site as well, uh, the continuous sheet of the generating random numbers example. So first thing we wanna do is get some numbers from the uniform distribution. Um, and all that we have to do there is rand. That will give us a random number between zero and one. Uh, and F9 is going to recalculate on Windows and so if I keep pressing that F9 to recalculate, we keep getting a different random number coming out as a result, always between zero and one. And you want multiple, you can simply just drag it and you'll have multiple of them. Um, but then you might say, well, how do I get a random number between zero and five? Well, you just take rand 
and you multiply it by five. Now that's going to be pulling random numbers between uh, zero and five. Well, what if you want those random numbers to be between uh, 10 and 15? Well, then just add 10 onto the end of it. And now this is going to be random numbers between 5 and 15. So they are not the most straightforward how you have to do the math with it to make it happen, um, but still not too difficult to draw um, random numbers from a uniform distribution in any range. So that covers the uniform distributions. Now what if we want to draw numbers from a normal distribution? Um, so before we do that, I'm going to define the mean and standard deviation of the distribution. So the mean, let's just say, is 10, and the standard deviation is 5. Um, so now we can generate some random numbers. Um, but first, before we do that, Let's just look at the plain norm.inv function. And we're going to just put in, for example, purposes the, purposes, the 0.5 probability. And grab that mean, grab that standard deviation. You'll see we get 10, the mean coming back. And no matter how many times I recalculate it, it's always 10. Um, go and put 0.6 in there. We've got a number higher, which doesn't change. Uh, 0.4, we've got a number that's lower, and again, does not change. It's once we then put the rand into that spot that now we've got a random number generator from a normal distribution. So to make it more clear um, what's going on with these numbers, I'm going to fix both of those, and then um, I can generate a bunch of them. Um, now when you see all these different numbers, you can see that most of them are generally around 10. Um, and as we recalculate them, you know, occasionally they go negative. That's, uh, you know, two standard deviations, more than two standard deviations below the mean. Uh, occasionally they go above 20. Um, sometimes here, this one is even a little bit more than three standard deviations above the mean. So uh, you do observe that occasionally, but it's rather rare. Most of the time they're in this like five to 15 kind of range. Um, so that's how we can generate random numbers, uh, continuous random numbers from both uniform and normal distributions in Excel. Uh, of course, you can just change around these parameters to get different uh, means on the distributions um, or different standard deviations. Uh, can create quite a bit different um, results, even though it's still a normal distribution. So that's generating uniform and normal continuous random numbers in Excel. Uh, next time, we're going to come back to look at how to do the same in Python. So thanks for listening and see you next time.